All right, so now it's time to take off the feet. I tried with a hand screwdriver just to see, but it's time to pull out the power tools. So set it so it's going counterclockwise and find your drill bit that will fit these screws correctly. I usually just take it and put it in and see if it is snugly in there. I think that might be the one. Yeah, I think this is going to be it. I might be able to use this one. The longer one might be better. that first. So I don't know what happened to the, the holder part of this. So when you have a, a power drill like this, you'll be able to hold onto this part and you'll see those little, I, I don't even know what to call those, but they'll hold your drill bit in place. So you'll open those to stick that in. And then you'll want to make sure this isn't going too fast so you can lock it in and make it go in the clockwise position. until it's tight you want to you're going to want to check your torque on here so you don't like rip your hand off but see how you can hear that noise and it's not moving anymore that means it's tightly in there so now we're going to switch it back to counterclockwise and take these out easy one i'm going to put these in the same bag as my bolts so i should probably just get this bag A little bit more. A little more torque. Alright, counterclockwise. And the next one. Gonna have to go to the other end to get the other ones. all your parts so you don't lose them. We're going to have to switch to a drill bit. And so I'm going to use for the, I'm going to go for the 332 here. And put that in. Grab your measuring tape and a pencil. And on each corner, we are measuring 1.5 inches from the front and 2.5 inches from each side. 
Okay, so now we have all of our holes drilled so we can get those screws through easily on every corner. And what I use to actually mark those holes is this tool right here so you can get the drill bit in easier. It's kind of like an ice pick, sort of. I'm not quite sure what this is called, but it's like a something that you use that you can just mark the hole, hammer it in, and then you can put the drill bit in easier. So I would suggest using one of these. So now we have to mount them together. And this is when you're going to need your 12 inch clamps. I have these ones. I ran out and bought them. If you don't have clamps, maybe ask a neighbor. If it really comes down to it and you desperately need clamps, feel free to message me if you need to like rent mine for a day. <laughs> so you don't have to buy them because they're kind of expensive. So um, these were almost $30 a piece at this place called Abish. It's a place called Abishan. It's kind of like a Home Depot, but in a small town. I live in a small town in Massachusetts. So 12 inch clamps because these two together are 10 inches. So make sure that you get clamps that can actually go around and hold them in place. So this is when we are going to align them together and install the four clamping screws. The motor base comes with screws already inside. You can see those. One, two, three, four, all those. So we have to just line these up next to each other and then just use a drill bit and put the screws right through because we already put the holes in. So that's what we're gonna do. Just make sure you're on the right side. So I know that this side goes on the left side of my drum carter. Like if I'm looking at it, from like the drum carter itself from the front. My motor is on the right side, but if I'm feeding stuff, it's on the left side. So I know that this pulley is on the opposite side. So you need to make sure that you install it with the pulleys on the opposite side. So make sure that you do that. But first, before we mount them together, They give you these little dots, and like little rubber dots. So you're just gonna wanna put those along the side from expanding and contracting, expanding and contracting from heat and cold. You'll need to install these along the side where they're going to meet. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have four sides, so we're gonna need two on each side. Two. Three. Now we need to clamp these two things together. Put them together so you can drill a small pilot hole and install the four clamping screws. So I'm gonna do it this way. Do like this on this side. Just align them and then clamp it. 
so it stays in place. So this is good enough. <laughs> I'm actually going to put this clamp on this side. Yeah, that works perfect. So just clamp the two longer sides together like this. So you can drill your screws through to the other side. This is a square drill bit. So you're gonna need a square drill bit like this. I hope you can see this square tip. Put that in your drill. Side where we put those holes there. See? two smaller clamps, so I'm just trying to make sure I don't end up with a gap between the wood. You can remove your glasses because we are done with the power tools. Yay, we did it. So now we have to mount the drum. But before you mount it, you need to take the drive band and put it around both of the pulleys. In the picture, they show you that it's supposed to go 
inside between these. So that's what we're gonna do. And not this bad boy. And it says that if you ever want to adjust the spacing between the liquor and the swift, do so by adjusting the liquor only. If you move the shaft, it will affect the tension on the drive tooth belt. So when we mount this, we want to make sure that we have good tension going so it actually works. Not too much, obviously, just like a spinning wheel, but just enough. And then we need to put those bolts back in. Should we get these screws in? You're going to want to make sure it's lined up on this side as evenly as possible. You're also going to want to make sure that the other side isn't like flipped or anything. Make sure it's on there right so you don't like put that on and then find that this was flipped over on the other side. Just make sure everything's aligned. And then after, we're going to have to tighten this on. It says, install the tooth drive belt as shown. Pull the idler pulley tight against the tooth belt and tighten the nut on the back side of the pulley. So that's when I'm going to need my monkey wrench again. Then I'm just going to need a big screwdriver. And we're going to pull that close and then tighten this on, which actually I'm doing it with my hands, so it's not going to be hard at all. All right, so get all of your screws in. I'd recommend even possibly putting them on the other side as well. Make sure this is nice and tight. take a ruler and really make sure it's all lined up. It's all one fourth of an inch away from the drum. Per this ruler, my other measuring tape is actually a little different, but per this ruler, we've got one fourth of an inch gap between the big drum and the outer edge. Tighten these bolts back in. Mounted. Now, before mounting the liquor in, this is when you're going to want to tighten this pulley here. So I'm just going to use my monkey wrench to go inside and hold this nut. the liquor in. Make sure that you get some type of credit card or something because you always want to mount it so it's just slightly got a gap between it which is usually about 
the width of a credit card. Very small amount. So now we're going to mount the liquor in. You know what? Actually, two to four to do this. I'm going to connect. There's a little gap underneath. So you'll easily be able to fit your cord and just connect. Just to make it easier for yourself. I'm gonna plug this in and make sure we have power. We have power, yeah, we did it, I'm so excited. So as you can see, we have power. <laughs> Awesome. All right, I'll unplug this for now. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, now we are going to mount the liquor in. Put the brush on top. I wanna to make sure this side is to the left. If you're looking at it from this end, just make sure that these align. Use your credit card. If you can. Pretty close to each other, but not so close that they grab each other. Just eye it out. Slide your credit card through like you're making a purchase, guys. <laughs> there we go. Oh, even it looks like. I'm gonna add your brush to the top. Then put your screws in. Your screws are bolts. These are huge. Align your bolts in. Screw them in with your hand so it stays in place for you. Screw those down into the base. band back on on this side. I'll turn it so you can see the way I put it on. I like to get it around the big one first. So just try to keep a little bit of tension so it doesn't come off. Bring that up and around. Pulley. 
and we're done. We're done, we did it. So now we're gonna turn it on. Moment of truth, guys. We have power, we did it. So, and you can go backwards too. I'm obviously not going to go in reverse because I have stuff on here, but that's for when you're taking the bat off. So you can just move it slightly. So that is the assembly tutorial. Know that Fancy Kitty offers a lifetime limited warranty on all parts and workmanship to the original buyer, as well as parts and repair to anyone. The Poly Belt hat has a two year warranty. If you wish to readjust your carter, remember to move the liquor and not the big drum itself, and you're good to go, guys. So, I hope this tutorial helps you. And I hope that you can get a motor for yourself in the future because this is awesome. I can't wait to use it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.